Hi everybody! <laughs> so I'm still skiing, probably, uh, <laughs> because this is pre-recorded. Yay! Um, so um, I don't think I have time to edit this. So this is probably going to be uploaded unedited, unedited. So if if there's long pauses and stuff, that's that's just how it is. So, <laughs> without further ado, uh, is that how you say that? It uh, doesn't matter. We are today going into the New Burb family, which is Ginger, formerly known as Ginger Newson, but now she's uh, married to John, formerly known as Burb. <laughs> and they, uh, they took the name New Burb because I combined the, the names because there was already nuisance scattered about and there's also a lot of burbs scattered in this neighborhood. So I, this is the new family, <laughs> the new burb family and we're going inside uh, of their house. So we do have uh, two days left of autumn for them to play. This time I'm gonna check if somebody has a birthday. But yes, yeah, so Seth is, he should have a birthday in two days. Which means he will age up tonight. Like the, it's Thursday morning now, so Friday night he should have a birthday party i think i think that's what it means yes because he will have the notification so it was quite a lot of time since i went in here oh we have a, a empty room over here because we had who was it like Brittany, who's in the cab actually wait who who is in there we don't know all right, but we had Brittany and her husband, I think. I need to check. I think it was Brittany. Yeah, she, wait, what? No. <laughs> oh, okay. Gavin Newsom married Brittany Oldie. And they had a little baby called Bruno and they moved out because uh, it was getting crowded. So we now have an empty room. That is what happened. So uh, let's see here. Now John is in platinum and he, he wishes to get a grandchild. Is he about to get a grandchild in any way? Um, I don't think so. <coughs> I don't think so unless Lucy does the naughty soon. Uh, he also wants, what is this, a relative to get married or a relative to get engaged. Well, I think like the first thing that would logically happen here is an engagement. So I'm gonna lock that in because I think that is, oh well, these are power, well, I mean, he is a family sim, so I'm gonna look and get a grandchild. It will happen sooner or later, okay, but he is in platinum, so he should work on his lifetime want, and that is to get promoted. Uh, it is in the middle of the night, so maybe he should be sleeping, but he's not tired, so he needs a cleaning skill point, but he's going up to ask something. I'm gonna see what could be cued here. Hello. Uh, well, okay. And he's gonna be asked for food. All right, oh. Little Anastasia Newburb wants a bottle. And of course we're gonna give her a bottle. Uh, yes. I think. Is he gonna take her downstairs? What are you going to do? 
My goodness, put her in here. Give her a bottle. Um, and Ginger wants a baby. Is she pregnant again? <laughs> I don't know. Is she? I don't know. But she wants a baby and apparently I have locked that in for her. So, alrighty. We can work on that. Um, and I can't remember if she's pregnant. We will see when she wakes up. What about you, Seth? He wants to grow up. Well, it looks like that could happen for him right now. He wants a creativity level and a skill point. So, but it is in the middle of night, so I think he should sleep. I don't remember what bed is his. Probably this one. Shoe pet and sleep. Oh, and William is having a bath. All right, there's quite a lot of Sims in this family and I thought three Sims was a lot to handle. What are you doing, John? Okay, now he's putting her down. Okay, well, she's still hungry, but she is more tired than hungry. So let's have her sleep then. Oh, she's precious though. So let's, let's look at the family tree, shall we? <laughs> so that we can get like yes they're all John's children <clears throat> but she had he has four children uh, with Jennifer uh, Lester is just hers and then he has these three children no th two th children <laughs> with Ginger it's little Juliet and Anastasia and then we, we have, of course, the grandchildren. What is happening? All right. Yeah, all right. So I had to go for a little bit. Um, I don't remember what I said, but I think it was down to telling you that um, John has two grandchildren uh, and it's, of course, Lucid Goth, Children, Diana and Gunther. Um, yeah, I, you know, this is the family tree. <laughs> Ginger is one of all the nuisance family. Uh, they are in the sim bin when you start a game. They're in every save. They are in the sim bin and they bug me. So I place them out, but then I am bugged that they are in every save. So, but here they are. <laughs> um, what are you doing? Are you dancing or something? Oh, he's sho shooing the cat. I told him to do that. Because he is supposed to be sleeping. I think this is his bed, I'm pretty sure. Please sleep in the bed. There you go. Now, John, did you, like, everyone is sleeping, so now he can study, what was he, cleaning, right? Uh, I think he needed cleaning, yes, because he wants to reach the top of the career, and he needs cleaning to do that, cleaning skill. He needs to be able to clean stuff in the elementary school, apparently. <laughs> I'm just gonna oh my goodness Anastasia is really hungry um, is she though I think she's fine John has gained a skill point and that's fantastic he wants to be go on vacation but I'm gonna go on, on vacation so I'm not allowing the Sims to do it I'm weird like that They're gonna stay home. <laughs> Especially since Ginger wants to have a baby. Uh, that does not go well with vacation because if she goes away on a vacation, um, she is going to uh, become pregnant since she has this want and she'll be miserable the, the whole time. 
So <laughs> we will not be doing that. I'm gonna let John continue to read about cleaning. Who's playing? Oh, little William over here is playing with the cat. Oh, that's cute. Oh, he wants to ask for homework help. Well, I think, John, you're done with that. Does he have homework though? Um, he will... Oh, I have made him a own little disc over here. Why is he the only one that has this? Well, all right. Well, he will ask John for homework. So John will also help William with homework. Uh, that way, <clears throat> like, it will take John a little bit to stand up, and in the meantime, William w might give up. Oh my goodness, the cat! Okay, well, um, Ginger will have to take care of that. Come on. Uh, scold for destroying the furniture. We can't have that. Stupid cat. She doesn't look pregnant. I don't know. <laughs> we'll have them try uh, soon. She's also afraid to have a baby because there's so many of them. I don't know. What what happened to the cat? Oh, the cat came here to be scolded. All right. Well, that was very much needed. Oh, she's hungry. All right. Okay. So go put Anastasia here and then get leftovers but we'll also need to give Anastasia a bottle bottle why didn't you do it oh, my goodness place Anastasia in chair where are you going with that she just okay well okay I'm missing everything okay William I think he learned now the, the the studying skill this is an oddly furni the, the, the furniture in this room is kind of odd maybe i make a study room downstairs for some of them i don't know or they can study here but it will be no, they can they can have a study room in here. You know what? Let's move the computers in here too. That's gonna be nice. We'll have more room over here. Like a saw. There. That's nice. And then we can have I think we need two desks. Wait, do we need desks? Yes. So we can have... Do we do the cheapest ones? They they are like on a budget like all the time. So, but they get desks. <laughs> that will be nice. Oh, look at that. And then we can just put these two thingies out and some shares. We'll, we'll do these cheapo ones. It's fine. Right, like so, and then we can have, so William is the only one that has a dedicated, oh no, uh, <laughs> all right, so Seth also had a desk, but uh, little Juliet over here, she doesn't have one, so she'll, she will claim this desk, I think, in the corner. She also wants to learn to study, but she needs to get, um, Homework first, and she hasn't done that. So, she will have to wait. And now John is free, okay. Well, John, take care of Anastasia. Where is the poor child? Okay, pick her up. <laughs> Hold her and like put her in the chair. How hard is it? <laughs> this, this school bus will arrive shortly. Okay, I don't think I saved the game. There we go. Oh, and John is going to work. Okay. 
Well, this isn't going the way I planned it. At least now uh, Ginger is not starving, so she can take care of the child. <laughs> it's so hard. Oh, stop sleeping. Seth, you need to go to school. Did you miss the school bus? No, he the school bus isn't here yet. Okay, but still get out of bed so that you can be on time. You can like tidy this up so that you can put your homework there when you get home from school. William, what is wrong with you? Why can't you sit here? William is the youngest kid of uh, John and Jennifer. And probably the last since John left her and I don't think she will ever forgive him for that. Uh, nor does she want a husband right now. She is totally focused on her career. She doesn't care about family and stuff. She's done with that. <laughs> However, she did uh, in last episode, she uh, adopted a, uh, a teenager. The, the poor, unfortunate Lester Pleasant uh, that keeps losing his parents. Um, but he will go off to college soon. So I think she only did it because uh, the orphanage, like they, ha they are having a, a trouble with too many kids. <laughs> So they have they have always got campaigns and everything in all the newspapers that if you can please help us out uh, and adopt a child uh, we will charge you for it. <laughs> so like it's why is there a wall here? It's sort of a community service. There you go. <laughs> I I think. I had a sim standing too close to that wall when I wanted to move it earlier. So that's that's all. So the kids all got to school on time. Uh, with the done homework. How are they doing? Uh, Seth has a B and William has a B plus and Juliet has a C. So C is where they start. So I uh, expect her to increase. Um, uh, her grade pretty soon now. Ginger wants to call Brittany to chat. So, okay, we can do that. Call Sim. They're quite good friends. Let's call Brittany Newson. Just talk. And she wants a kitten or a puppy. But when they're being ambivalent, I'm not give, giving them one. If they to to have one, they will, will only have to have a one to get one of them. That is the rule that I go by <laughs> right now. Okay, did you get any food? Did I just put the poor child in the chair? Oh, she's dirty. Um. Oh my goodness, we we have a diaper changing table thingy. Maybe the butler will fix it. Apparently they have a butler. I didn't remember that. Ginger has always dressed nicely like this. So I think she she like wishes that they were like a nice family with a expensive house. But they're always short on cash. So it doesn't go too well for her, but now they have a butler and everything. So maybe, maybe someday they can move to a nicer area. Like this is the nice area, isn't it? But you know, they kind of, they, they have this unfinished car here. It's been there for ages. No one finishes it. <laughs> so the neighbors are a bit annoyed with them. There you're on green. Oh, she wants to learn to walk. So maybe we can help her with that. Now that everyone is happy and everything. Uh, 
Oops, what is happening over here? Someone... Gina is coming to visit. Poor Gina. <laughs> she just got out of uh, youth prison. Like, I call it the correction facility uh, where they sent like young people that otherwise should be going to prison because they have done some public fighting. And she... Okay, so here, here's the story with Gina um, and her and her um, and her, and her child. All right, so she was dating Davis Jr. Uh, Dreamer, which is now Davis Jr. Lothario because he got adopted by Mary Sue and Don Lothario, um, and he he got. Gina pregnant and Gina was staying at the orphanage so like Gina was way too young to have a child and she didn't have any means to uh, provide for the child and Davis refused to have anything to do with it and he refused to acknowledge that it was his child so <laughs> what Gina did um, they, they put her in the correctional facility just because like this isn't good and also she the, the public fighting <laughs> so that wasn't good so she had her baby in there and it was placed in the orphanage but she figured like since Davis didn't say that yes this is my child uh, she actually named the child Davis the third and so everyone started talking like what is this child in the orphanage that is called Davis the Third? Does it have anything to do with Davis Jr.? What a scandal. And Mary Sue couldn't have that. <laughs> so what she did is she took um, to the orphanage and said that I will adopt this baby. And she promptly renamed him. Uh, was of course a boy and let me check because I forget what the name is oh dear Mary Sue she named the baby Simon Sinovi <laughs> because everyone knew that was it is Gina's Gina Chibata's child and and uh, Mary Sue figured like that that could be a name that that Gina would choose for a baby and she went around like telling everyone this is not the the name I chose for the baby it came like this um, this is my baby now because I adopted it it's uh, Zinovi Lothario um, and she hopes that it, all these rumors that it was actually uh, Davis baby will just go away because it it was all based on the name. <laughs> so it was pre actually pretty smart of Gina though because otherwise the baby would just have been left in the orphanage. Um, but since since she did this, she like forced Mary Sue to take care of it. So, so she gave the baby a better life. But of course, now she's free and she's out and she doesn't have her baby. And I expect that she's a bit sad about that. But legally, she can't do anything because Mary Sue adopted it. So like her only option is to try and get back to back with Davis. But she's a townie, so I'm, I can't play her. So I don't think that's gonna happen, and it's very sad. So that's that's the tea on that. And of course, I made all this up, but you know, <laughs> it's the story. John really wants to impress the administration with his students and the school district science fair. Looks like the perfect opportunity. Two of his students' projects really stand out. Harry Monroe's model that hypnotizes the result of hot cocoa brewed in a volcano and Sally O'Minke's holographic gelatin projector. 
Both are top-notch and cutting-edge for the elementary scientific community, but John, John can only send one student. Who should he send? Well, I think I usually take the the volcano, but I'm bored with that. So I think Sally has like a more innovative idea. As much as John loves cocoa, especially the volcanic kind, he knows his best bet is with Sally Ominke's holographic gelatin projector. After mere minutes at the show, Sally has a huge crowd surrounding her booth salivating over the prospect of fresh, delicious gelatin. Corporate representatives are also at the show and it isn't long before the Pleasant View Gelatin Company offers Ominki a healthy incentive of simoleons to sell the device to them to be used for I'm sorry <laughs> uh, to be used for advertising in grocery store. Ominke agrees to sell, as, and as her sponsor, John is entitled to a cut. John receives a bonus of 760 simoleons. Uh, I always get <laughs> confused when it says simoleons double, kind of like. I am uh, making a mess over here. Okay, done. <laughs> And we're going to say hi to Gina. Are we good friends with her? I can't remember. I don't think we knew her. Well, we do now. Maybe they will become good friends. Oh, Brianna Jarga is here too. I don't know. Let's say hello to her. Like, are you having a party or what is happening? You want to play with Brittany too? So like, okay, uh, invite her over then, I guess. But you were teaching this kid to, to walk. Mm, no, don't call over. Teach to walk. <laughs> okay. Um, Invite over and then teach to walk. Can my friend come over too? Sure. And this is another thing that the, the newsons tend to do, I think. Like they tend to invite a lot of people and have like lawn parties around here. And the neighbors are like, what are you doing? Is she close to learning this skill yet? No. Oh, and she goes, goes away? No. She's still learning. Okay. Um, okay, Brittany is here now. Great, Brittany. Weren't you supposed to bring someone? Who was that? Jeremy McGaw? And he has to walk right in. All right. Well, she's going to leave if you don't say hello to her. You better do it. Also, get mail once you're all out here. Um, I think you can just continue with this. It is good to to like get the all the learning things in while it is autumn and you have a bonus for that. Oh, I wonder if uh, speaking of bonuses, she has no points. But I wonder if someone does. All right, I'm just gonna go with that, I think. For all the children, I'm just gonna do the needs tree. Oh my. It's gonna help them learn and develop. Okay, yeah, that was all of them. You gotta save sometimes. Where are you going? Okay, let's speed through this because it could take a little while. Oh, now she needs to go to the 
bathroom. And the kid is hungry again. Maybe you should potty train her. You said hello to Gina, invited her in, but you're not talking too much with her, are you? No. Uh, you want to play with Brittany, so let's try and do that then. Just tickle her, that's fine. Okay, that didn't go well at all. All right. Where did we get all this money from? All right, that was John. John got some money. And I think like, should we call a nanny? We have the butler, it's fine. The butler says he will do everything. So now she wants to appreciate appreciate Brittany okay uh groom what is that <laughs> oh it's not what it means nowadays <laughs> entertain okay oh my don't do a dirty joke I I don't think I don't know what that means entertain inside joke that's fine <laughs> okay, now she wants to buy a TV. And you know what? Why why don't you own a TV already? Should we have a TV in here? That couldn't hurt, right? We could move no, not that couch. Let's just buy... where is it? <laughs> Here we go. Let's just buy some TV of some kind. I want it like this, I think. And then we can have the sofa out here, yeah. So we're not taking this one. Maybe this one. Uh, I need a sheet if I want to put it diagonally, so let's not do that. Let's just say that we bought the TV. You can stand up until you have more money and can buy a sofa. <laughs> ah, you want to tickle her. Oh my goodness. Tickle. How is this child doing? William is doing extremely well in school as a Seth. Wow, that's great. And John has been promoted. This family is like getting success. Maybe we should sell this in in case no one is interested in actually finishing it. I don't know. Okay, here comes Brandy. <laughs> this is Brandy broke, uh, but now she is Brandy Latorno because she married. Uh, we have. A error on her hands. It's fine. Oh no! Wait, was it Seth? Then he probably lost his homework, didn't he? Yeah. And I haven't figured out a way to actually spawn like the real homework. If I use a mod and spawn homework for him, it will only increase his grade. So... I could do it though. Okay, so what we're trying going to do is I have here... <laughs> <laughs> the sim man manipulator that I, ha I have gotten from the internet, so you can just google it. And I'm going to go into academics um, and then we're gonna change school grade uh, to whatever he doesn't have. Like, okay, so he has an A now and I, I'm gonna change it to B a minus, so it's just gonna be a B minus, and then I'm gonna spawn homework for him in a different manner. Where is it? Academics, change school 
grade to B minus, uh, like a so. And then we can create work for Seth over here. And th this is a c quite completely object. <laughs> this is the uh, symlogical schoolwork table that I have downloaded. Uh, that is also, you can find that on Google. And then, oh, 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 we're not going to do that. We're going to save. So a quick Google said that one per person had a problem because the parent was not on the same lot as the child, which would make sense. So uh, to solve that, I mean, they took Seth in, whoever it was. I think it was Ginger, right? So we, we are going to do because... Seth is actually the child of Cassandra Dreamer and Darren Dreamer, but he got taken away because uh, Cassandra died <laughs> inconveniently and no one was around to take care of him. So he got taken away and now Ginger has adopted him. So we are going to actually adopt him um, like so. So now she has a diff, uh, another child and yeah, he got John as father too. That's great. And now he's not going to be Seth Dreamer anymore. He's going to be Seth Newburb. So we are going to, I think I'm, I have to have him selected and then we go into I saw the uh, option to do it it is in here somewhere oh I can just resurrect sims okay that's perfect where well, we can change his last name oh my goodness what oh Seth dream is, is this how I do it <laughs> oh well this is oh. Convenient. New verb. Is it big letters like this? I don't know. Yes. So now he's Seth New verb. And he has been adopted. And I'm going to delete this one. So now if he... I think if he does the homework, he will get his grade back up. And then... And after that, it will be like he has done his homework because he has no homework. Yeah, I, I, I think this is right. But uh, little William here, did he get homework? Do I have to do the whole thing for him too? Um, like he has a parent here. He has John here. So there shouldn't be an error, right? But he didn't bring homework home with him. I don't like it. I don't know if this is by design by the game or anything. I shouldn't have deleted that, should I? Uh, it is located after you download it. It is located under statues, sculptures. So, okay, let's do the same thing for William because I don't think he got homework. What about Juliet then? Where is all the homework? <laughs> Did we get no homework at all? I guess I'll do this for everybody. All right, so let's go to you and go to academics if I can find you. Why is it so hard to see it? Academics. Uh, and she has a C plus, so we're gonna do a D plus, which is risky. And then for William, we are decreasing it to B plus. Academics. B plus. There. And then, wait, no, okay. So this is where she should have her homework. Uh, I don't think, wait, can, can I move the homework that I spawned because I don't want to be buying a lot of tables. Can I move it? Yeah, okay. 
Well, that's awesome. I'm just going to have that table over here then. Uh, so create work for Juliet there. And then I'm going to move it. I don't know if this is smart. Um, and then also for William. Great work for William there. I don't know how this works. I don't know if I just did a horrible mistake, uh, but I don't think they these work as regular homework. They, they are special. So uh, anyone... All right, okay. So I don't know if she can ask for help with homework now. We can call her to work. We can do work. Ask for help. Uh, Ginger. But they, the, the, the grown-ups are busy now. They can't do... Okay, and you are t bored. Bored. Okay, let, let them try and have fun. What are you doing? Oh, you're going to do work? Did I tell him to do work? Maybe. I don't know. He has a wish to get an A plus report card, so he probably wants to do work. So I'm gonna let him. I'm not sure she, he, if he's actually going to do that. Uh, meanwhile, Ginger is going to relax. What are you doing? She was already going to go relax without my help. Oh, that's good. Okay, well, I'm, I'm just going to see what they do. This does not count because this is an ACR uh, behavior and these are extra. So if they try for baby now, then they do. And the phone is ringing. Okay, <laughs> we are recording again. So let's see what they do. Uh, they are making out. Juliet isn't so doing so well in school. Uh, gee, I wonder why. But she's all happy now. I wish you could ask these people to help with homework. Um, but they will have to wait with that. Because the parents are having the hanky-panky. Oh, I should see if all of them... So Seth now has parents here. William is not in need of adoption and of course Juliet she has her parents here so hopefully tomorrow we will not have this problem I hope if that's the solution all right get on with it <laughs> sometimes they just stop Seth has learned a logic skill point but sometimes they do not stop. Casual woohoo. Alrighty. Yes, and they then she's also going to try for baby. John just wants a grandchild, so we're only trying for baby once today. But this this was a bonus. Okay, yes, get up. What is happening over here? Okay, and then relax. <laughs> <coughs> and wait. And ask him to join. Ask John to join. John, what are you doing? Stop that. No, you're you're relaxing. It's relaxing time. <coughs> the the child will still be hungry after. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Okay, and now we do try for baby, which means she wasn't pregnant yet. But she might be from this one. Okay, how bad is... Oh my goodness, she's... That's really bad. Would you... Would you do something? We have a butler for a reason. Why are you just... Goodness. Okay. That's not good. Uh, so emergency uh, 
why did, didn't they get a bottle for her? Because I stopped them. Um, get, where do you, where is get a bottle for the child? I don't know. Can I just put her in the chair? Oh, everyone aged. Let's see now. We have John is 59 now, and Ginger is 36, and Seth is 12, and he has a birthday now, and William is 8, and Juliet is 7, and Anastasia is now 3. So, um, like, there's already a bunch of people here. Maybe we don't bother with actually inviting people. It will be chaos. Let, let's just be happy with who we have here. And let's just have him age up. <laughs> and, you know, my rules is that I... Um, I randomize the... Aspiration. Oh my goodness, are you ever going to... Like, they can get up now. Little Seth Newburb is about to grow up. Come on, any minute now. Oh, what happens to the butler? Do we have another butler death? What is he, what is he doing? <laughs> I'm worried about the butler. No, he's fine, right? He's fine. Let's look at him. He looks exactly like he did as a child. It's like it didn't change at all. <laughs> I don't know. Now we have six options here and this is number one and I'm going to randomize a number from one to six and I get number three. That means he is going to be a knowledge sim until he changes his mind and we are making sure Michelle Kearney is in the spreadsheet. Michelle. Yes, she is. Okay, good. I feel great. If I can keep the, uh, feeling this good about life, I'm sure the sky is the limit. Well, we have this. Oh my goodness, John! You need to, you need to actually get a bottle for the child. Get bottle for Anastasia. Like just, just. I mean, I, I can't with these people. Well, I, I think I need to get a refrigerator up there <laughs> because <laughs> just get the cheapest one, and then I'm gonna place it you know somewhere there that's fine and then you can like what is happening hold Anastasia because she's falling asleep now so we can't get her a bottle that's horrible so if you hold her what are you doing now pillow don't pillow fight stop stop Ginger, you go over here you're gonna go t you're gonna do some teamwork now I have decided and you are going to get bottle for the baby. And John is getting her out. Seth, move out of the way. There. Yes, and put Anastasia down over there. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, good. Get the bottle and don't get taken away. The worst thing now would be if she throws the bottle away, because sometimes the kid does that. 
If we can just... Yes, we got some food in her. She's not going to be taken away today. <laughs> I thought it was going so well with all the children. So I was kind of hoping uh, we wouldn't have a problem. Um, but the kids have no desires to do homework except for Anastasia. So she is gonna... Is this a... No, this is Juliet. She is going to ask John for help. He works in education, so he should be good at helping. <laughs> no ghosts! Okay, Spooky the, the cat ghost. Is, is Did I na really name a cat Spooky and now he <laughs> comes to spook her? All right, well, that's not good. Uh, ask John for help. And let's hope she survives. Where did the cat go? Where is the cat grave? Can I move the cat grave somewhere? Like, yes, here lies Spooky. So we can uh, move this grave to the graveyard because this will not do. I won't have Sims die because a cat scares them away. Okay, there we moving move the cat to the graveyard and we'll get rid of the spooky ghost. Go away. Did it not work? I don't know. Maybe the ghost is out. It has to go back to the to the gravestone first. Scold for destroying the furniture. Now this kid is miserable, but at least she's not hungry. That's good. There you go. Okay, okay. I need to breathe. <laughs> ah, she's not being specific again. Maybe, maybe Ginger should just go to sleep. I don't know. And Seth should need a bath. William. How you doing? Well, he does. He he wants to be friends with Duke. I'll, I'll lock that in. And little Juliet is uh, doing her homework. I haven't taken any screenshots, so this is the screenshot that I will take with a creepy staring sim in the background. That's fine. Maybe we can get everyone to bed soon. And the ones that it's good that um hey we can check that she actually gets her C back. Oh my goodness, she got it all the way up to B. Alright. Uh that's more than I expected, but should I change it to <laughs> to a B plus now? I don't I'm not sure. <clears throat> Maybe I do that. She did her homework. She did good. Uh, academic change to B plus. Wait. No, 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 no. She had a C plus, I think. I'm messing everything up, but I, I think that that's what it was. Like a so. So now she it's like she came home from school with a C plus, she did her homework, and now she doesn't have any undone homework. Yeah. It should be the right way. But if these kids don't do their homework, <clears throat> then they will have the lower grade. Because because they should get a lower grade because they didn't get do their homework but these homeworks do not work like that so that it will not trigger it's a whole thing playing this game <laughs> 
Alrighty. Okay, what is John doing? He's tired. Well, go to sleep, John. It's fine. It's totally fine, but please try and get the cat away from here. Because I don't want it here. Go away. I don't know. It's it's because it's out. They didn't, but I hope it goes back to the gravestone soon. Oh my goodness. This cat though. It's awful. Um, scold for destroying the furniture. This couch is going to be destroyed if, if it keeps going like that. But I think it might learn soon. Don't destroy the furniture. Okay. Good. She is saying goodbye, I think. Okay. And the kids are all asleep, except for Seth, but he's not a kid anymore. Uh, he is 12 in my spreadsheet, uh, and I had them grow up at 12, which is kind of a little bit early maybe, but <laughs> I want more years as teenagers for them. So he's a teenager now, okay? Um, this, this seems game, the game doesn't recognize like different in individual years. Oh, he just went and did a homework by himself. Oh, now he wants to have an A-plus report card. Okay, well, I'm gonna lock that in because it might happen. And it's a power want, sort of. That's good. These are actually, these tables uh, that spawn the homework are from the school system, uh, where you can like play an actual school uh, and get kids to come there. And when they do homework, they increase their grade. Um, and since they're not going to school, like the game school, they they keep losing grades. So you need, you need to keep having them do homework. Yes, entertain yourself. He likes UFOs, maybe. Uh, what is his interests? Mm -hmm. Paranormal. Yes, it's uh, he, he's interested in that. Okay. What about you, huh? He likes the weather, weather and culture. So maybe he just thinks he is a knowledge him because he doesn't strike me as one. And I still haven't decided when I, I changed their <laughs> aspiration back in college. If I should go with the uh, destined aspirations from the zodiac signs or if I should go with their interests. It's kind of... I don't know. All right, you two. You should like. <laughs> Why? John wants to woohoo with three different Sims. Is that maybe because yes, he is a secondary aspiration romance Sim. So that is why he's a little bit wild and crazy on in his elder years. But you know. Um, I'm, I'm just gonna keep the grandchild thing locked in for him. Even though, like, he only needs one more to, to woohoo with one different sim. So, you know. Well, it is Friday, so they could try again, actually. Oh my goodness, shoo everyone away, shoo pet. And William, can I, like, put you to bed? Like, is that a thing that we can do in this game? I don't think so. <laughs> We can, like, um, we can pretend he will have to go relax because 
I'm gonna need him to get out of the way. And maybe we should say goodbye to Brittany. Everyone. And she can relax. And John, wake up. Your wife wants something. She wants a baby, that's what. <laughs> Ask John to join. There. They switch sides. Try for baby again. And now since I'm going to switch out of this family in a little bit, I need to uh, note on Ginger that I have a TFB on Friday. It means try for baby. <laughs> they can only try for baby once each day. So uh, she's, she already used up her try here. So next time I play her, I shouldn't do it again if she's not pregnant. There, I think everyone's asleep, right? Except for <laughs> Anastasia. <laughs> oh, poor little neglected child. But uh, seems she seems happy enough. Um, she's fine, I guess. Okay, yeah, William is not sleeping either. But I'm still going to end this video here because I need to go. And... <sighs> I hope you're having a fantastic time and I hope this was okay even though it's not edited and I had to um, pause it for uh, long periods and I don't know what I did before when I get back and it, it, it was yeah but I, I hope it turned out okay anyway because I will not have time to edit this I'm very sorry if you're hearing this then you're obviously stuck it out to the end and if, for that I just say thank you so much. So until next time, stay safe, have a super duper time and take care. Bye bye!